Hi everyone, welcome back to another great interview series. My name is Mir, I'm from Vancouver, BC, and today I have the privilege to interview David Schmeichel from Calgary. Hi David, how are you doing? Hey man, good, how are you? I'm great, thank you for being here. So David, his purpose lies in the nurturing and development of people as they venture for the, along their journey towards their fulfillment. So David, That's tell it. us more about yourself and your journey and your purpose and your fulfillment. Yeah, well, man, that's, uh, I'll, I'll be as concise as I possibly can because it is a process. It is a journey. Yes. And uh, I wasn't always clear what, what it is that I'm doing uh, now, uh, what, uh, what kind of contribution that, that could be to others. I was um, trying to figure it out. So, but for for where I'm at now and, and over the course of the last 11 years, uh, it's been around, it's been inside of the marketing communications world. That's, mm -hmm. uh, that's where I've been hanging my hat. Started as a, a designer, really. And I thought that was the thing that I was here to do is just create cool stuff and, mm -hmm. uh, and have it um, have an impact in some way, but there was something that, um, that it lacked and I couldn't quite put my finger on it. Uh, over the course of that time, it got clearer though. And, uh, and where I find myself now is, uh, in the, uh, coaching capacity in a, um, a mentoring capacity, help those that find themselves in leadership positions or are exploring something brand new in their life to, to get clear what that looks like for them in the future and then uh, support them in uh, creating what it is that's necessary to enable them to get there. And I feel that lately with the trends happening, like before our parents were used to have one job and that was it. We, we started as one job, but then when we grow up, we figured out, no, I need more. And I feel that the new generation, they are trying everything to, till they figure it out. What do you think about this three generation? What has changed? Well, uh, the, the demand for, uh, for that sort of versatility, that, that, uh, that ability to kind of ebb and flow between different skill sets is uh, is more important now because there are so many things that uh, that are required for us to understand and i would say when our parents were growing up and when certainly when when my grandparents were around uh, the focus was much simpler right we we didn't require it wasn't as complex it's a very complex system now uh, there there's a i like to use this quote uh, and it's actually incomplete for the most part. People use it and it's incomplete. And I'm sure you've heard of it. A jack of all trades is a master of none. Mm -hmm. So the full quote is a jack of all trades is a master of none, but oftentimes better than a master of one. Yes. Now, we are uh, a jack of all trades as our profession for the most part. And it demands the ability to, to move seamless three, seamlessly through all sorts of skill sets uh, in order to accommodate for whatever it is in the moment. Uh, and some of us will, will focus and, and we will dial in and, and we will excel in, in a particular area. And, and others, like myself, I, uh, I'm really good in a whole bunch of areas. And I, I know I'm not the only one. And... Uh, I think the big challenge is to to actually be okay with that. That that's that's important and and needed, uh, especially in today's world. Yes, I agree with you. And then thank you for sharing that. And for the audience watching for the first time, I'm going to ask David a couple of questions, and each of those questions will be posted on daily basis. So as if you are on journey with us, you can check all the videos. You can check one of them, and if you like them. Please like and share and leave a comment below and tune in next time for another question with David.